Welcome back to Chaotic Reunion, I'm Avie once again, and here we are back in The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Uh, in the last episode, we killed some things in this room and unlocked a portal leading back to the entrance. We also found the element, but we do need to defrost it. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I uh, wanted to compliment one thing before we started this episode, though. I actually really love the theme to this dungeon. And, I like, normally I'm not too fan of the kind of shivery themes, but this one takes and uses the Game Boy uh, sound system just really well. Hang on, am I... Oh, hang on, I already know what I gotta do. I'm a dumb... I'm like, why can't I push it? But I, I need I need me's. So many more me's. Okay, so that will completely melt it, or it will only enable us to kind of only melt half of it. With that in mind, however, we now have a route going in another direction. Of course, sunlight! Once we get some sunlight in to melt the ice, that element will be as good as ours. And still he forgets to mention that there's a giant... Ow! <laughs> Ow! That hurt. Uh, that he forgets to mention that there's a just a giant Octorok right here waiting for his chance to shine. Aslo, you gotta mention those details, buddy. It's important. It's important for my life. And yours. I uh, don't- do I want to open this? It probably contains either a of rupees- it's a get stone! Yes! I need- I need those. I need those for my pseudo if I'm still- Planning to do 100%, which probably, though it won't be as guided as I did, as I intended. Mostly because... No! Um... Mostly because we just don't, don't have those notes. And I don't exactly remember the guy way I was gonna do this. And Kidstone! So, uh... If I do 100%, which probably will, it's a Zelda game. Uh, it'll be... Maybe near the end I'll do a montage thing where we just do a bunch of stuff without dungeons. Won't be a problem. As I'm trying to distract myself from the fact that there are ice but oh my god, there's jars over there. Oh no. You don't put jars over there without without something of a reward. If it's just hearts like a ruby, I'll be really upset. No, it, it's a distraction. It's a distraction, that's all it is. And I besides, what am I doing? I can just do this to see. Yeah, it's just a rupee. And there is a kinstone there. All right, oh, we're gonna fly down there, and the boomerang should bring that to me. I know it's meant for rupees and things like that, and kinstones are among the same, the same line as as to rupees. All right, bring it to me. I got the kinstone. So that's not only a distraction, but at least it rewarded my distraction. Okay. This looks friendly. So we need sunlight, clearly. And the sunlight that's over there. Alright. I'm not gonna pretend like I already know the solution. Um, these stairs will likely trap me. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter what does what. So this will close the one above us, to the which point we can then turn it back on, and we can, then we, we should be able to just do this, start the sunlight above us, and go downstairs and put the other one up, and you get the drill. Hooray! Simple puzzles. That's one of the reasons that uh, I prefer and have always stick to the 3D ones. Uh, in the Zelda franchise because the puzzles are always much more intricate in a 3D environment because there's just so many more layers to go about. And I'm not going to pretend that's the only reason. I've mentioned this before, dang it. Uh, that the reason I stuck away from Minish Cap and the 2D ones, uh, at least the handheld 2D ones, uh, was because I just couldn't see them. Uh, playing on a tiny screen when you have bad vision is hard, and putting it up to my face caused many, many headaches. So, I just didn't. Look, most I played was A Link to the Past on the original Game Boy Advance. Uh, on the Game Boy. Yeah, 
with the Four Swords pack. I did that with some weird modifications because the screen was so dimly lit it didn't give as much of a headache as the ones that are lit. This looks dangerous. Boomerang, go fight it for me. Go do the battles. I don't need to go in. I'm going to go in. Oh, you're kidding me. I already know what's going to happen here. All right, um, we want the gust jar. Because if you recognize the layout of this room where there's nothing about to attack us at all, let's just turn this. And it's a boss fight! Ow! <laughs> Alright, so this is basically just a harder version of the other fight. Breaking my own rules here. So you cannot suck in his his life juices when he's electrified. Because he just he retains the power to keep himself together because of the electricity. I don't know. But that's just how this fight goes. So let's go ahead and smack him a bunch. And uh, this fight's pretty simple. It's just the same fight, except you have to... You have less time to go ahead and suck his juices. Ow. Figured you'd stop being all electrified. Stop it. There he goes. He's going down and I'm yelling, Timber! Timber. Timber. Alright. And one more should do it. He doesn't have much more health than the other guy, especially since we have an upgraded sword that does more damage. Alright. I didn't realize how my health was getting low. Oh no. No! No, stop jumping. It's cheating. Ow! Stop it. Stop it, all of you. One of you. There's only one person here, and we need him to stop. Take him down! Oh, you can actually push him? Okay, I was actually not aware you could push him with this. Actually, when I was little, I used to use the gust, uh, the gust jar here to try and knock him over. Not little, but uh, the terminology. When I was last played through this in my other files, I, tried, I thought the gust jar would knock him over, but it didn't. My god, it's eerily quiet in here. But we got the flame lantern. This handy item lights up places, and we can we can uh, burn things now. So we uh, we now have the ability to burn things. It's fantastic. So use it over here, and they don't stand a chance. It's really wonderful. So let's use it to melt things and rupees. Of course, rupees. Why would it be anything else? I didn't want anything else. I just wanted more rupees I couldn't use. Alright, so in other uh, 2D Zelda games, like Elect of the Past, you actually had to use it to uh, do this to activate, um, what are these? Brazers? But, uh, yeah, you know, we're, we don't need, we don't need that junk. We just literally, literally just gotta walk up to it. Stop it! Ow! I'm taking a lot more damage than I want to. You die! All of you! Boom! Oh, how did you not- how did you not die from that? Oh, you needed one more hit. And it'll fly away! Go away! Now, is there anything special for lighting all of these? Did we just get to see? Yeah, we just get to see. Okay. Off we go. Basically, the, that was a really cool room there, because in a level design factor, it's uh, meant to show you how much more you can see in the dark when um, you have this lantern equipped, to then, and then it tosses you in this maze-like thing where it's a much more uncomfortable situation. Which I approve of. I don't, I don't know, my brain just stopped there. It was like, eh, you don't want to finish that sentence. Uh, a kinstone. Oh, I can't leave those behind because there's so much potential for it to be a kinstone. And I, but it, it, and it's rupees, and then I feel stupid for not having spent all my rupees before. Stop getting hurt. I, 
I command thee. So command me thee. Thee me. No! Puzzles. Or really just... Oh, oh, I see that. I got bombs. Now, I know it's... Oh, like, uh, what is it? Kind of inefficient to, um, always have my sword out and, like, not just... Like, I could have just used the bomb and the lantern to, uh, get in there and keep the lantern active, but I don't know. There's a really, really weird feeling in getting rid of my sword, and I don't like it. And I don't think I'll ever like it. Because it's... it's oof. There's no way to defend yourself. You get stone piece! Yes, I need all the red ones. Those will help me in the, some of the side quests I want to do with the kids, don't we? Because red ones are always important. Always. And they're in set locations. As I've mentioned before, but there, there's, just, there's a limited number of red Timbone pieces. And then obviously the golden ones, which are literally for like select sections of the game. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, stop. Oh, I'm on fire again. Oh, no. I have a potion. No, I have Din's Charm. I died. I'm simulating being dead. Yes, we're gonna save because we wing it. Okay. Well, Devil of Joplin holds the last of the elements like the middle shell which says, let's brace ourselves and do this. Are you ready, Link? What? What's that face for? You don't want to brace yourself? Alright, fine. No bracing. Let's just go. Huh. I've never actually seen that line before. Um. Portal's useless at this point. Right. Um. I don't think of died yet, so, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> fire, fire's bad. All right, I'm gonna meet you back where we were. Okay, so we're back in this room, and I don't want to catch on fire again. All right, we're going this way, and we will get to live. You couldn't have at least died at the end of the, uh, where I wanted to end the episode. Really, game? Really, me? Okay, going up! Oh, God, di diagonalness. It's awful. Rupees? But I want the rupees when I can actually, like, have the rupees. Alright. This is actually where I wanted to end the episode. <laughs> See, this is, this is, this is like a good point to end it. And I wanted to end it here, instead of dying and having to cut before ending it. I've been Avi of Chaotic Reunion, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.